What's going on everybody? New Silver Stacker here and thank you so much for tuning into a new video. Guys, we hit up the LCS today and we got some more good stuff. And I'm pretty excited to show it off. So there is one specific theme of coin, if that makes any sense, that will that we'll be showing off today. Um so let's go ahead and start showing off one by one. Let me decide which one we're showing off first. Uh, let's see, let's get some stuff out of the way. Alright, here we go. Let's check it out. Here's the first thing we got in the U.S. Mint envelope. It's a nice little envelope. I would like to get some of these envelopes for mail calls for when I send stuff out. Might be a little bit expensive, but hey, only the best for you guys. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Sorry, guys, I didn't even read it. <laughs> okay. So we have 1971 Eisenhower Uncirculated Silver Dollar. The Department of the Treasury, 1782, established. I'm guessing that's the, when it was established. What, what's on the logo right here? Let's see, we got the little balance thing, the weight, whatever it's called, and a key. Huh, I don't know the meaning behind all those. Probably like safety. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you know the exact meaning on why they put these two symbols right here. I'm curious, actually, so. All right, so let's bust it open. This one is, you know, not, not sealed very well, but... Actually, I don't know if it's supposed to be. It's probably supposed to be like that, huh? Maybe it's supposed to open like this. I don't know. So here it is, right here. Now, unfortunately, this one's opened. Uh, my LCS does have some that are unopened. I didn't realize it was open, though. But I don't mind. Do you want to know why? Because I actually bought this for the junk silver chest. Now, um, you'll have to stay tuned for the next junk silver... Or, sorry, for the uh, next uh, treasure chest update. If you don't know what the treasure chest is, I'm filling this treasure chest up along with a few other fellow YouTubers with junk silver. We have some taken out because I'm going to be painting this, um, possibly today. But anyways, I'm taking out some of my war nickels. I'm taking out some 40% because everyone else is doing 90% and I want to, you know, put in a bunch of 40 and 35% to take up space. So instead, we'll be keeping a couple in there just so that way we have one of every coin and we'll be putting one out Eisenhower dollar in there. That's all I want. One Eisenhower dollar. So that way we've got everything. But there we go. Eagle on the moon. It's the 1971. And it's the, it's the one that has the flat earth right there, the flattened side of the earth, if, if you know about Eisenhower dollars. And this is considered a blue Eisenhower dollar. I'm looking for a red one, so stay tuned because I think I might have found one at my LCS, but not today though. And then it comes with this card. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause right now. All right. So yeah, 40% silver. Pretty cool. So let's see what else we got. Next up, we have, of course, another Eisenhower dollar. This is also a blue Eisenhower dollar, same deal, but this one is sealed up. And I didn't show off the chip, but here it is right here. Both of them have these. This one I didn't get in the envelope. I didn't know he had the envelopes, but I don't really mind too much. So I don't really like keep this in an envelope anyways. But there we go, same deal. It's got the flattened earth. Super duper cool. Love the Eagle on the Moon, man. My friend Eagle on the Moon, I'm sure a lot of you people know, it, know him. He, he actually sent me some fun stuff the other day. We have two mail calls from him in the last few weeks. A really nice guy. I love talking to him. I talk to him every day. But he's the one who got me into this eagle on the moon. Because that's his name, eagle on the moon. And I'm happy I got into them because they're pretty freaking cool. So now he's got to look for the red Ike. Because Tom's Coins, another good channel, uh, he told me that there's like a, a blue Ike, a red Ike, and then I think there's another one. I can't remember. Tom, you'll have to, you'll have to comment down below. All right, here we go. All right, we got another one of these. Now, this one's a little bit different. And by different, I mean it's just sealed up. That's about it. Or it's still glued up. Okay, so let's, let's whip this out. Same deal, 1971. Same thing as these two. The only difference is the envelope is intact. So I will be keeping this envelope intact. This might be part of the giveaway since I've got three of them. That one will be going in the chest. That one will be staying sealed. Or maybe we'll give away this one. Maybe we'll give away this one. I wouldn't mind giving away this. It, it's 10 bucks. I pay 10 bucks per Ike, so. Not much money for these bad boys. Let's keep this out for now. Okay, next up. Um, this one's a little bit different than these Ikes. It is still an Ike, but it's a little bit different. So, um, let's see if you can tell the differences. So, obviously, the first difference is the 1972. I'm going to zoom in a little bit today. I don't know if it's going to let me. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's bring this bad boy up. So they both have the eagle on the moon. And this one, 
I got in a capsule and I took it out of the capsule for a few days because I was going to throw it in the junk silver chest, which now I'm going to do this one over here. And the reason why I'm not doing this one is because this one is actually uh, the, the, the way the die was that year. I haven't done much research, but from what I can tell is the way the die was, this one, this one's more high relief. So let's flip over to the back and actually let's whip it out real quick. Love whipping it out. Okay. So the cool thing about, so this is the 1972, the one in the package is 1971. So the 1972 is more high relief. Now there is a 1971 that is high relief, I believe, or maybe it's a 72, I can't remember. But either way, the, the silver one is high relief as a standard. And you'll see, so on the 1971, the earth is flattened right there. If you can see it. And then on this one, the earth is actually rounded and uh, on this, on the 71, you can see, you can see America or the United States. You can see the Bahamas, Cuba. And on this one, you can see the United States, but you cannot see the islands below Florida on this one. So that's the only part on this coin that's not as detailed as this one. Other than that, this is way more detailed, a lot more high relief. I mean, I mean, just look at that. You can see the little, you can see how thick it is sticking out right there. Um, but super duper cool. I love this one so much. And that's really about the only difference, but I'll be keeping that one in the capsule because it's a good looking one. So got to keep it in there. Okay, next up. Uh, shoot, here we go. Wait, where is it? Wait, is that it today? That might be it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, got, I got confused for a minute. I was like, where is the other thing at? Okay, well, that's it, guys. Um, we got a bunch of Eisenhower dollars. Now my Eisenhower dollar need is fulfilled. And I'm happy. I'm satisfied now. So one of these will probably be given away maybe during our 12-hour live stream when we celebrate the 1,000 subs, which um, we're almost there as of the day I'm making this. Right now, we're like at 980 or 990. So maybe by the time this is released, we'll be over that. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, cool. You guys will have to let me know what you think of the Eisenhower dollar. I actually have one more, which, I, which I've already shown off. Let me grab it real quick. It's right somewhere. See, the way I've got my silver organized, I can find stuff real quick, which I love. So this is the other Ike we got. Now, the difference about this one is it's a proof. This one's a proof, and it's in 1976. And it's got that yellow toning or the yellow tone to it. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know, if it, I don't know if that's natural toning or if that's just how the mint made them. But, but when I first got it, I thought it was gold-plated, but it's not. And this one's also 40% 40, 40 silver. Um, but I don't really care for these. I like the eagle and the moon. That's the only reason why I got a bunch of these. This one, I'd only get one of. It is the Bicentennial, but I, I prefer the Eagle on the Moon rather than this back of it. And here's a uh, Bicentennial Proof half. This one's not silver, though. And a Bicentennial Proof quarter. Anyways, that is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody, have a great day.